Mike's Mountain Adventures. Come right along. Season 1, Episode yeah. 0. With Kathy Campos and Michael McHugh. Contrary to what a lot of people think, Arizona is not all a desert like this. An hour and a half north of here, up the 87, is the Mugion Rim, which is the largest stand of ponderosa pines in North America. Following the State Highway 87 North, from the Phoenix area, the climate changes, and the cactus disappear. As the elevation increases, ponderosa pines fill the landscape, making way for shade, cooler temperatures, beautiful mountain streams, lakes, and an alpine forest, teeming with wildlife. When the temperatures start soaring in the valley, the camping and outdoor activities are perfect in the towns of Payson, Pine, Strawberry, and on top of the rim and the higher elevations. The Mugion Rim stretches just over 200 miles from New Mexico to the northern parts of Arizona. The highest peak in the state is Mount Humphreys at 12,633 feet and is located just north of Flagstaff. There are other peaks along the rim such as Mount Baldy at 11,409 feet and Mount Graham northeast of Tucson at 10,724 feet that all offer ski slopes in the winter months. All the higher elevations in the state of Arizona experience cooler nights, year-round, and warm up in the later mornings, which makes them a very comfortable climate in all seasons. We get into a road like this, we got four miles to go down the road. There's snow and everything melting up here. And we don't have any four-wheel drive. The key to driving on rough or snow-covered roads is simple. Drive slow very slow and avoid all of the rocks and potholes in your path. Scouting a location for a hike is a good idea when you are unsure of the roads to the trailhead or what the terrain involved will be like. This is our scouting expedition of the Barnhart Trail. Alright, a good safety tip when you're out hiking is if you come into something like this and the trail's over there, there's been a landslide right here that just crossed the trail with all these boulders. Just look for where the trail comes out on the other side before you go trying to cut across to find your way across the trail. It'd be it easy to get lost on something like this. And we're now nowhere close to halfway through this trail where it's going to intersect with the water. There's going to be some really nice waterfalls down there. It's a good idea to make a time limit for yourself so that you're not stuck up on the mountain and it gets dark on you. So we are, this is a scouting trip for us on this trail. And although we're not even halfway and the payoff is a really nice waterfall at the end of this trail, we're going to have to turn around and go back uh, so we're, we're not trying to hike out of here in the dark. <laughs> <laughs> it's oxygen, not something else. <laughs> <laughs> Hiking in an actual fresh snowmelt is fun. Okay, we're climbing back up from down there. And my phone fell off the lanyard and went down in there. So guess what we've been doing for the last half an hour? Looking for this phone. It was almost ready to give up and I looked down there and it was just sitting on the ledge. Thought for sure I was gonna have to go get a new phone tonight. <laughs> that was overcoming our obstacle today. Product failure. Kathy had purchased and used for many hikes, a phone case and lanyard clearly marked as ready for adventure. The string that connects the lanyard to the phone broke. This caused a 35 minute search and rescue that luckily, the phone and the case did survive the fall in cold water. Two weeks later, there's no snow melt this time, but we're going to finish this Barnhart Trail. This is the same spot where we left off, where Kathy dropped her phone down in the hole in the ground. Now she's got a pocket on her backpack, so that won't happen again.
going to get a trekking pole. Trekking poles have been the best thing we had on this hike for the best performing piece of gear. The best performing piece of gear on this scouting hike was the trekking poles. They not only steady you on the slippery trail and rocks, and are great for downhill and stream crossings. They are valuable for extending your reach while retrieving dropped items or using to steady a camera. Don't select trekking poles with the twist locking mechanism for adjustment. This type of lock will twist and loosen up while you hike. There's just one place that I can stop between here and the valley where we can get us a BAC. And I know just where to go. 